Hello, in this video I'm going to be c comparing uh, the while command with the for command. Now both these commands can work similar in similar ways. Here I have two examples. So I've got a for command and the while command. So the for command is actually up to three times faster than the while command. Um, if you click on the link below, this website will show you a code optimization. And here it says uh, that, in, in fact, the 4 is up to 3 times faster than while. So, let me show you what's going on here. In our 4 command, we have 4 counter. Counter is an empty variable, so every time we go through the 4 command, we, we'll add 1 to the counter. So when the counter equals the limit, which I've set as 10 through my limit uh, local variable, the for command will end and that will be that. So I'm going to quickly show you what happens with the for command. I'm just going to call it through a simple radio trigger. So call for command. There you go. It jumps straight to 10. To show you what's actually going on here, I'm going to add a small sleep and the hint format is really useful for seeing what's going on with your scripts so if we call it again you can see in the top right hand corner it adds up to 10 and then stops when it reaches 10 which is my limit so what it's showing you here is the counter now this would be useful if uh, y you want to spawn multiple units um, so say you want 10 units to spawn, you'd put in a create unit command, I don't know it off the top of my head, but it's easily found on the internet. So this is much faster than the alternative while command, and we don't actually need a seep, which means it's much faster, like up to maybe 10 times faster, I'd say. So I'm going to show you the while command now. This is the same thing, except it's less optimized. So instead of um, the counter being built into like the command, we have to have our own counter, which we set at naught. And while naught is lower than, I mean, while counter is lower than our limit, which is set at 10, we'll run through the while. So let me show you what's going on here. Note that in while commands, uh, the sleep is necessary, otherwise you're going to bog down your system. So, we're going to call a while, 1, 2, 3, 4, yep, goes up to 10, just slightly of 1. So as you can see, it's exactly the same command, but it's just slower. And we have to manually add plus 1 to our counter variable each time the script runs through a situation. Similarly, you'd use the while command if you want to create units like multiple units or vehicles and stuff of that nature so I hope you find this video useful I've linked this mission below so you can have a look at the commands yourself and hopefully you learn a little bit more thank you for watching I'll see you next time